Hello there. Let's talk about note taking apps. So I've been taking notes on my iPad since my MSc days. I bought my iPad in fact, uh, just as I was starting my MSc. This was my first time taking academic notes on a digital device and it has been truly an enjoyable experience. Today I'm taking notes on my iPad in every possible way from journaling, from daily brain dumps to mating notes to academic notes, whatever I do, I just take notes. Even when I'm reading a book, if there's something that I won't remember, my iPad has everything. So even for this content creation work, most of the work happens on the iPad itself. So because of all this, note taking has become an essential part of my life. But here's the thing, all note taking apps are not equal. There are certain apps that provide some unique value and that's why I thought of doing this video so that can help you to decide what app to choose in your note taking exercise. So I'm breaking down my top three apps that I'm using and also the use cases I'm using them for and what is the unique value that each app provides so that it makes your life stay organized and easier. So I personally use all three apps for different reasons. Each one has its strengths, weaknesses, each unique value. So let's start with the simplest one. Apple Notes. Now you need to own an Apple device in order to access Apple Notes, but it's the most simple, most straightforward note taking app there ever is. I think one of the biggest advantages of Apple Notes is its quick accessibility. You can write, you can start writing a quick note just from the lock screen of your device, which has made it super easy for me in, you know, emergency situations where I first, I immediately need to start taking notes of something this is the app I always go to. But the problem of that is you will end up with so many notes, so many quick notes that just have, you know, random information. So organizing these notes becomes a hassle after a certain period of time. And that's something I found to be very annoying. In addition to quick notes, Apple provides you the capability of writing notes through Siri. So you can just ask Siri to take, take a note of something and Siri can just do it for you. So due to this deep integration with Siri and being accessible through multiple Apple devices. And at the same time, the new features that they introduced with Apple intelligence, like, like handwriting recognition or math notes, for an example, those are really cool features, which I think we will need a separate video to talk about. One of the issues I've found with Apple notes is that the handwriting experience is not that great, especially compared to other apps available in the app store. I always found this irritating lag when you are trying to write super fast, which I try to do when I'm working on a brain dump uh, for a content idea or journaling, for an example you need the app to be responsive as fast as possible to match your writing speed. So that's one of the complaints I have about Apple Notes. The other complaint is about the organization of files. The organization is very straightforward and very simple as well. It has just folders and notes inside. The only level of organization that it provides is through something called smart folders, where you can manage your files based on a tag system. So for an example, if you are writing your notes and all these notes belong to your journal, you can write hashtag journal and all those notes are organized under that tag system. But due to this too simplistic approach in terms of file organization, note organization, and that's where the next step comes into the picture, which is Notion. Now Notion is not just a note taking app. It's a productivity machine. It's a productivity beast. I am using Notion every day and it has become a super close part of my life because I organize every aspect of all the projects that I do, all, the, all my hobbies, all my health reports, all my required documentation. I am using Notion as my go-to place because that's, that has become just one place I store everything. So within Notion, you can build notes, you can manage notes. At the same time, you can build projects, you can build project backlogs, you can track your tasks, you can um, track the progress of your tasks with your team members. Notion can become a massive productivity machine if you use it right, if you build your Notion right. So there are courses available on YouTube teaching uh, to get the best out of Notion. I highly recommend you do that. And uh, if you want a better organization around your life, I think Notion can help you in many different ways. So Notion has very simple fundamental concept of blocks and pages, but it allows you to build many complex structures based on these blocks and page uh, concepts. So unlike Apple Notes, where it just has folders and pages, Notion provides you an unlimited hierarchy with you know nest, nesting, being able to nesting pages inside pages. So you can just keep on creating pages inside pages. The possibilities simply are limitless with Notion. There's one feature I don't see in Notion, 
and that is actually handwriting. That's the biggest downside of Notion. It does not allow handwriting. That's why I'm a bit skeptical in calling Notion a note-taking app. If Notion provided the support to handwriting, I, I would probably not leave Notion at all. And that's where the next step comes in, which is Notability. So I've been using Notability for three years now. Uh, Notability is actually the app I took all my MSc notes. Um, that's where I journal every day. So Notability is actually, in fact, the app that I open every day in the morning. Uh, that's my first thing to do, uh, to write in the daily journal. And because of that, Notability has become a very close part of my life as well. The biggest advantage of Notability is the writing experience, the handwriting experience. I think by far, it has been the smoothest handwriting experience I've ever experienced. If you guys know any other apps that provide something that even closer or even better, please make sure to comment to this video so I can check that out as well. The other advantage of Notability is that being able to combine handwriting and type letters. Now, when it comes to Apple Notes, they have this weird idea of handwriting and type letters has to be separate. But in Notability, that's not the case. You can easily combine those things together because sometimes you need to type things, sometimes you need to annotate right next to it. In Apple Notes, it has been very difficult to do that. But on Notability, it, it's a very intuitive, very easy to understand experience. The only downside of Notability is actually I have to pay for it. Now, when I first downloaded Notability, it was a one-off purchase. Later down the line, they reinvented their pricing model to a subscription model. It's not very expensive. It's about $15 a year, but still you have to pay for it. I'm using Notion for free. I'm using Apple Notes, of course, for free, but Notability is the only note-taking app that I had to pay. So which note-taking app is the best for you? I think from how I look at it, to take quick notes for easy accessibility to for simple note-taking activities, I think Apple Notes would be the best because of its capabilities. You can ask Siri to write a note for you. If your priority is on, you know, high level of customization, high level of organizational structure, if you want your projects to be inside your ecosystem, then probably Notion is the best go to place. Even if not, I still recommend all of you to check Not Notion because if you are a person who's passionate about productivity, about project management, about uh, organizing your life, and building a structure around your life, just like me, I think Notion is something that you'll find that find to be very helpful. I really recommend check out some tutorials on YouTube on getting the best out of Notion. Now, if your requirement is for handwriting, if you want to do academic notes, if you want to build a journaling habit uh, for your life, I think then Notability would be one of the best handwriting note-taking apps out there. There are other competitors which I haven't tested myself. Notability was my first go-to handwriting app and I, I never had a reason to leave and you know switch the app. So if handwriting is the priority for you, then I highly recommend Notability as the go-to note-taking app. So what about you? Which note-taking app do you think is the best? Please drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and if you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe my channel so I can make more videos like this in the future. I'll see you again on the next one.